Haunted House, Haunted Mouse by Judy Cox, illustrated by Jeffrey Abler. Haunted House, Haunted Mouse. One October night, the doorbell rang. Mouse peeked out of his hidey hole. The night was dark. The dark was spooky. On the front porch stood a fearsome trio, a skeleton, a goblin, and a ghost. But Mouse wasn't scared. Whiskers twitched as he watched. Trick or treat, said the skeleton. Trick or treat, said the goblin. Trick or teak, said a little bitty ghost. And she tripped over her sheet. The three held out their sacks. Dad plopped one piece of candy in each bag. Thank you, called the kids. The ghost dropped her sack and Goody spilled out. Mouse's mouth watered. Yum, he wanted trick-or-treats too. While everyone helped the ghost, Mouse scrambled into the trick-or-treat sack. Candy! More candy than Mouse had ever seen. Sour balls, gumdrops, lollipops, and chocolate bars. Mouse closed his eyes and inhaled deeply. His whiskers wiggled. He simply didn't know where to begin. He nibbled on this and noshed on that until his cheeks were as plump as chipmunks. Just then the bag swung high in the air. Where were they going? Mouse gnawed a peekable hole in the paper sack. Dark clouds flitted over the moon. Jack-o'-lanterns sent beams of golden candle shine flickering across front lawns. Flocks of trick-or-treaters scurried from door to door. Mouse didn't see the candy leaking out piece by piece through the peekaboo hole. The sack swayed like a pirate ship in a gale. Mouse's tummy roiled. His head spun, poor seasick mouse. The next time the ghost dropped her sack, Mouse staggered out. Just then it started to rain. First a drizzle and then a full-out gully washer. The trick-or-treaters dashed for home, holding their coats over their heads. Boom went the thunder. Flash went the lightning. Away went Mouse. He darted here and there, dodging raindrops, splashing through puddles. Where could he find shelter? He was lost. He was wet. He was cold. An abandoned house stood by itself down at the end of the street. The door was barely open just wide enough for Mouse. Lickety split, he scampered inside. He didn't notice the sign on the front. Keep out! The door slammed shut behind him. Was that the wind? Or was the house haunted? Mouse tiptoed down the hall to see what he could see. Cobwebs draped over his ears. The house was old. The house was empty. A spooky house filled with creaks and groans and things that went bump in the night. He heard bones rattle, a skeleton dancing. He saw eyes glimmer, a goblin prancing. A pale shape floated past, Thank you for listening. Please subscribe and like so you don't miss another story. If you have a story you'd like me to read, leave a note in the comment section below.